going in streams and counting. My guests today are bringing a fresh perspective to electro pop music. If you know their caught album, Classics Gallery and Asylum, which we all love, please welcome to Fresh Out Live, Arizona! <laughs> Gentlemen, you guys look incredible. Welcome Thank to New York. You. Likewise, be here. Thank you. We love it. Now I know that you guys get this all the time, but your name is Arizona. You're from New Jersey. Why is that? Right across the river. Um, <laughs> well, it was uh, it, it was an interesting thing that kind of just happened. We were um, producers and songwriters, worked with other artists, and did a bunch of other things, and got kind of tired of that. Um, been friends for a really long time, but never sat down and did anything just in a bubble by ourselves. So when we decided to do that, we had so much fun um, that we continued to for a little while. Um, the idea that it would be like a band or anything was kind of a joke to us. Nate happened to be wearing uh, a hat that said Arizona on it. What? Uh, Dave said, doesn't matter what we call it. You know, none of us thought anybody was gonna hear it. Uh, we made it all caps and spaces, like a hipster band kind of name. and left it. It was never really about what it was called for us, just having fun, so. That's it, and the fans love it. The fans love it. Uh, you're able, really genius, to infuse elements of rock, house music, and so many other genres into your tracks. And it's really been described as that feel-good electric pop. But how would you identify your music? Oof, that's a great question. Um, I. I I don't know, I feel like we've come across a couple different versions of trying to, you know, trying to figure out what we'd call it. Um, we do love house music and, and we grew up, you know, making pop music and stuff like that, but it seems to be the popular thing to say what? Uh, yeah. alt, alt pop, but like yeah. in our own like music library. What'd you say? We put it as like Spaceship Cowboy. Space Cowboy <laughs> music, yeah, yeah. Or more inside jokes, yep. Yeah. I love it. Now listen, hey, new genre. Hey, genre bending. Yeah. We see. Yeah. All right, now your new single, Die For A Night, just dropped today, woo! Yeah. Tell us yeah. about Die For A Night. Uh, well, it's uh, the third um, in a string of the first couple singles we've released in years now. Um, and it seems like the album is right around the corner already. Um, Die For A Night is kind of one of those house tracks that we that we tried to incorporate into the album, just a little bit dancier, you know, more upbeat stuff. Um, just had a lot of fun with that one, and uh, just honestly happy to be finally releasing music again, to be Come fair. On. Yeah. We gotta talk about it, you know, we talk about releasing music again, third studio album, um, dropping on May the 12th, self-titled Project Arizona. What is going to be different, really different about this particular album and project than all the others? The songs, for one. <laughs> um, I don't know, what would you guys say is different about this one versus the other ones? That's a good question. A lot haven't asked that yet. Time. You know, a lot more time did go into this one. A lot yeah. more time, obviously pandemic and all that, and we were all going through so much, I think as everyone feels, and all of that really went into this, mm -hmm. and all of the catharsis of it. So. But some of it was sort of, yeah. some of the songs were before um, the pandemic, mm -hmm. and some of them were kind of written during. Some kind of got brought over the finish line afterwards, so it's a little bit of a, collection of just vignettes of that whole time period before up to present, so. I can't wait to take that journey with you on this album. Yeah, it's, gonna it's, be fun. Yeah, it's gonna be fun. Okay, now hearing your music, right, watching the music videos and even seeing the swag in person with the different, the different vibes that you guys bring to the group, I mean, it's pretty clear, I think, that the best way to really experience Arizona is live, okay? Uh, and tell us about that upcoming tour with Quinn92. Must be exciting. Oh, we're so stoked. We kick off uh, next week, May 4th in Boston. Already. Yeah. yeah. Which is actually the first, uh, the opening night of the tour is on Star Wars Day. It's May 4th. Oh. And being a massive fan, um, I think, I think I'm trying to put together um, custom made like Mandalorian suits for the three of us to do the first show, <laughs> which would be fun. Um, but like like Nate said, I mean, it's 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 come up very quickly and yes. it's also been a long time since we've been on the road as well. So I tell you. being back to all this stuff is just Man, awesome. Get those suits made and get your tickets, okay? <laughs> I'm not yeah. here. But thank you so much, Arizona, for stopping by. Be sure to stream Die for a Night out right now. Stream it over and over.